Happy New Year from Wolfnest. As we enter 2023, Wolfnest proudly celebrates over a decade of dedicated service since opening our doors in 2012. Our journey has been one of remarkable growth and learning, and we are deeply grateful to our valued clients for their trust and support. We look forward to continuing to serve you in the years ahead. December's jobs report revealed a resilient U.S. labor market, adding 223,000 jobs and reducing the unemployment rate to 3.5%. While inflation concerns persist due to the labor market's robustness despite interest rate hikes, analysts focus on softening inflationary metrics like hourly earnings. Many experts predict continued interest rate hikes until further relief is evident. Initial jobless claims for the week ending January 7 were 205,000, marking a slight decrease and falling below analyst expectations. Despite layoffs in the tech sector and interest rate-sensitive industries, the labor market remains strong. In Utah, new claims jumped nearly 58 percent, reflecting the state's tech sector exposure. The December CPI report showed a 0.1% month-over-month decrease in consumer prices and a 6.5% year-over-year increase. This decline, the first in nearly three years, indicates the impact of aggressive Fed actions on the broader economy. While cautious, the Fed is likely to continue its current course until more significant inflation relief is evident. The Fed concluded 2022 with its seventh interest rate increase, raising the Fed funds rate to between 4.25% and 4.5%. The smaller 50 BPS increase, following four consecutive 75 BPS hikes, coupled with softening inflation signs, suggest potential for smaller increases in 2023. Application fee amendments. Potential changes could include mandatory refund criteria, capping charges, or banning them altogether. While intended to lower barriers for tenants, this could shift costs to other tenant expenses due to the high volume and processing costs of applications. Revoking the right of entry under 24 hours. Proposals to restrict landlords' entry to units without 24-hour notice, even in emergencies, could lead to unintended negative consequences. Maintenance and nuisance eviction processes could be severely impacted, complicating property management. Require 90 days notice for rent increases. Proposals for extended notice periods for rent increases may add unnecessary bureaucracy without significant tenant benefits. Most operators already discuss lease renewals well in advance, making this proposal redundant. Domestic Violence Resident Release Updates Current policies allow domestic violence victims to terminate leases penalty-free. Changes to this policy should ensure continued support for affected tenants without complicating the process. Mandatory EV charging ordinances. Proposals for mandatory electric vehicle charging stations vary in feasibility depending on property size and type. Incentives for installation in large complexes are beneficial, but mandates for small properties may be impractical end of rental assistance. With the RAP applications closing on February 5, 2023 and funds depleting, an increase in delinquencies is expected as the critical COVID-era relief ends. December brought positive trends. Active single-family home listings in Salt Lake, Utah and Davis counties dropped by 12.6 percent. Sold transactions increased by 4.7 percent and the median sold price remains stable, while year-over-year -year data shows significant changes due to aggressive Fed rate hikes, current trends offer some optimism. Util rental rates saw mixed results in December. Despite a decline in the pace of year-over-year -year increases, all submarkets posted gains compared to the previous year. As market conditions stabilize, fluctuations in rental prices are expected possible security deposit caps in California. A proposed cap on security deposits at one month's rent aims to lower entry barriers in high-cost markets. While beneficial in theory, this could limit options for credit-challenged renters and inadequately cover potential landlord losses. Omnibus Funding Bill 
The $1.7 trillion fiscal 2023 government funding package balances priorities, including grants for inclusionary zoning, increased funding for Section 8 housing vouchers, and enhanced fire alarm requirements for federally assisted properties. We appreciate your continued support and are committed to navigating these changes alongside you. Here's to a successful 2023.